What is going on everyone? My name is Connor, but you guys call me Superior. And today, I know you guys wanted to see a lot more different class setups. Because in the video I uploaded a few days ago, you guys uh, sent me a bunch of messages, left a bunch of comments saying, you know, Superior, I tried out this class and it was really working for me. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a few more class setups to hopefully, you know, heighten your success in the game. So uh, let's jump right into it. Um, I'm only going to give you guys three, but they are all going to have different perk setups and different weapons on it. Because there are really only three guns that I use in this game and three guns that I am happy with. So the first one is the Honey Badger. Now, a lot of you came over from Prestige's channel, and this is almost the exact same class I was using in that video. It's the Honey Badger with grip and extended mags. Grip is very useful on every weapon no matter what uh, just because it does help you pick up those kills at long range and extended mags just because you don't really need any other attachment on the honey badger you know it is great iron sights and there's no need for a red dot um, suppressor is already built in which is one of the reasons it's such a great gun uh, so that's it for the attachments perks is quick draw dead silence amplify focus and hardline um, you can exchange quick draw out for stalker um, but personally, I really enjoy being able to aim down sights quickly. It's kind of what I'm accustomed to since I've been playing Call of Duty for so many years with Sleight of Hand Pro in Modern Warfare 2 and uh, Quick Draw in Modern Warfare 3 and perks like that, you know, and I kind of, it's almost a necessity when I play. Uh, Dead Silence and Amplify, uh, you know, those two kind of work together um, just because you can't really sound horror if you hear your own footsteps. I know Amplify does reduce your own footsteps, but it definitely does help out and it prevents myself from being sound horde. Uh, focus, it really helps you win more gunfights because if you don't get first shot and they shoot you and then your sights basically, you're looking up in the sky and it is awful. Hardline definitely help, helps you get those perks. You, you Helps you acquire them faster. And the strike package. Now you notice I do not have a third perk on the strike package and let me explain myself. If I were to add a third perk, any third perk, let me demonstrate. If I were to add, like, let's say I want IC1, it goes from me getting my bonus at 8 kills, if you notice in the bottom left, to getting my bonus at 11 kills. And I am not okay with that. 11 kills is nearly halfway to my chem strike, and I'd much rather sacrifice that one perk and get my bonus at 8 kills than get it at 11. You know, you're sacrificing one perk for three perks, or however many perks you decide to put on your bonus. And I definitely think it's worth it. So, um, you know, you can really put on whatever perks you're feeling comfortable with. If you don't like having Stalker on, you know, take Stalker off and put on another three-point perk or whatever. You know, it's all up to you. These classes are not necessarily the best thing, but they are what I use the most and what I feel to succeed the most with. So that is about it for the Honey Badger. We're going to go on to the next class setup, which is pretty much the same class setup except it is the mtar the mtar is my favorite submachine gun in this class and it looks super sick with the spectrum camo if you notice there on the right side of the screen um i like grip and suppressor on it you know suppressor is definitely a necessity if you're going to run on the map and staying off the radar and putting together really any sort of streak and grip just because it is kind of a high recoil submachine gun but uh, one thing you guys can do is you can take off quick draw or take off dead silence or really any perk you want and put on a, the three perk perk or no the three attachment perk and put on the red dot because i absolutely hate this gun's iron sight i feel like i'm looking through a little hole in a wall because they're so big it takes up your entire screen and you know more often than not there's going to be some dude hiding behind your iron sights uh, you know just sitting there in a corner so it definitely the iron sights of this gun does you know, it is a hindrance, but um, if your ball's deep in the enemy spawn, it normally isn't a problem. So you definitely can put on the, the three attachment perk and uh, throw in an iron sight if you are more comfortable with it. But moving on to the next class setup, this is the exact same one that I showed you guys in my last video, and it is my favorite class setup. Uh, I know I do get the bonus at 12 kills, but, um, you know, I'm able to get those extra few perks and, uh, you know, it helps me out, and I, I find the sacrifice worth it with this gun. Uh, the AK-12 is definitely one of my favorite weapons. It is extremely high damage. If you guys have not tried it out, definitely slap it on. But just to kind of scan over my few classes, I don't really use uh, these 4, 5, and 5. <laughs> nice class name, Superior. But um, this is the Bulldog class. I really haven't used this that much at all. Um, I just put it on because I like how it looks with Spectrum on it. I was kind of fucking around with it the other day. So that's that class. If you want a shotgun class, definitely pause it and try that out. Um, if you don't have Steadium on your shotgun class, there's pretty much no point in even having a shotgun class on. So definitely put Steadium on. That's my biggest recommendation if you're going to be using a shotgun. And next we have the CBJMS. Now this gun is definitely not ideal for Call of Duty. You know, it is a high rate of fire and it's a decent hit fire. But really, if you're any further than five yards away, you might as well be throwing rocks at him because this gun is 
pretty awful to say the least. Next is the ARX 160. I've been going for a double chem with this gun uh, for the last few hours, and I haven't really been finding too much success with it. But hopefully, I can bring that to you guys in the next few days. Uh, it's definitely a great gun. It's kind of high on the recoil. I think it's the highest recoil of any assault rifle, if I remember correctly. But um, it does shoot fast, and it's not that bad at close to medium range. So definitely try that out. Feel free to pause the video and check out the class setup. It is pretty much the same the same one as the, uh, the AK-12 class setup, but with minor variations. Uh, obviously, the gun is, but um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the class setups. Hope you guys decided to throw some of the classes on and try them out for yourself. Um, if there are any other video gu videos you guys want to see, drop them down in the description below. Really help me out. Re re would really mean a lot to me. And we are so close to 2K subscriber, guys. Uh, it really blows my mind that a week ago I was saying we are so close to 1K subscribers, even though we were barely halfway there. And now I'm saying we're so close to 2K subscribers. You know, so that really is mind blowing. Thank you for everyone that came over from Prestigious Channel. Other than that, have a fantastic day, guys. Follow my Twitter. Will be down below in the description. Have a fantastic day, guys. I am out.